In this video, I'm going to show you how you can mod your copy of the Legendary Edition easily, and we'll go from this armor to this one. Welcome back, Commander. If you're a fan of the Mass Effect games and Dragon Age, you're in the right place. I have plenty of videos on my channel, so make sure you check them out after you've seen this one. So, Mass Effect's been out for some time now, and there's some great looking mods over on the Nexus website, and you might want to try them out. But, if you've never modded a game before, it might feel a little daunting. Well, don't worry, it's easier than you think, and we'll go through it together. First thing to do is head over to the Nexus website. You're going to need a copy of the ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager. Most mods on the websites use the Mod Manager, and this is a fantastic tool that helps you install and remove your mods with ease. Mods on the website do come with the manual instructions and usually involve changing directory information. That can get a little messy. And to be honest, if the Mod Manager can do it, why would you want to make it harder for yourself? Direct link is in the description, and once you've downloaded it, it should look like this. Now the one I'm using isn't as colourful, but it was built for the original trilogy and it's just been upgraded. However, everything is in exactly the same place, I just don't have the fancy colours. Once downloaded, the Mod Manager picks up your game automatically, and the first screen you'll see is the backup screen. This is very important. Before you start applying any mods, make sure you back up your game. If for any reason the mod you install conflicts with another mod, or you've applied a texture mod, but then decide you want to then re-add a gameplay mod, you'll need to revert to this backup. Reverting means that the mod manager will take off all the mods and you're left with the base game. Without making a backup, something goes wrong, then you're going to have to delete and do a full reinstall. So pick a folder you want, backup and click OK. As you can see here, I've already done my games and it's just the launcher left to do. Before we start importing mods, let's familiarize ourselves with the mod manager. At the top right, you'll see the legendary edition. If you have the original trilogy installed, you can switch between them here. On the left hand side is the mod library. At the top of this are the game tabs. LE1 for Mass Effect 1, LE2 for Mass Effect 2 and so on. After you've imported them and they don't show for any reason, there's a refresh button to the right of the game tabs. The main window in the middle gives you details on the mods you've selected and the address bar at the top shows the location of the installed games. Bottom right is where you apply your mods and start your game. Just next to these buttons is the current game that will load and you can change this icon by selecting the game from the address bar. Launching the game via the mod manager also bypasses the launcher, so you get into your game quicker. Okay, before we move on to the mods themselves, I'd be very grateful if you could just give me a boom on the like button. So once you've got your mod manager all set up, it's heading straight back over to the Nexus mod website to choose which mod you'd like to import. Here we've got the new mod armors for Femshep in Legendary Edition 1. As you can see here from the pictures, it's going to give us quite a few different armors that we can choose from and uh, improve our look. The first thing to do is head down to the description and it'll give you a brief overview of what the mod is and if you need any other mods for it to work. In this case, it recommends you use the iconic Fashion Party mod because that will mean that the game only wears the N7 logoed armor. But like it says here, it's not necessary for it to work. So we haven't got it installed on this game. We're going to see what it looks like without. It also tells you roughly about what the mod entails and how you can install it, if there's any known issues or anything like that. Okay, so once you're happy with it, go over to the files. And there are two ways that you can download it into the mod manager. There's download it into the mod manager direct, or if you're like me and you like to keep all your files in a, a separate folder so you know where everything is, you can do that and then just drag it across. So for this one, we're going to do straight into the mod manager download. Then unless you pay for it, it's a slow download. Not a very big file, so it shouldn't take too long. And then you'll get the pop up here that will ask you if you want to use the mod manager uh, to download file. Select that and then it will automatically start importing into your mod manager. As you can see here, it's downloading straight into the mod manager. And once it imports, then you can see it gives you a bit of a description here and you can then install it straight away if you wanted to or you can just import it into the mod manager so you can choose it at a later date. What we can do is we'll import that and then you can see here it joins the list of all the mods that you've got ready to be installed. If you can't see that it might be because you've not got one of these selected and these are your games here. So we'll just select Mass Effect 1 see which ones are here. So, the new armors for Fenship 1 is the one we've just downloaded, so we'll select that, and we'll apply mod. And it gives you a bit of a pop-up here, you can select which ones you want, 
in seven armors, spectre armors, vanilla armors, uh, Ashley armors. And we're going to choose. Let's go with the vanilla armor. All that. And then once it's installed, we'll start the game. And as you can see, it's automatically changed to incorporate the new looking armor. As you can see here, it looks okay. Gives your player a bit of a cosmetic overhaul. But if you don't want to use it or you change your mind, you don't like it, then you can easily just take it off. This is how you come out of your game. Head back to the mod manager. With the new armors selected, which is the mod that we choose, go to manage target. And new armors for Femshep and we click disable. close and then we start game and as you can see the mod's been disabled there's some great mods being applied and pinnacle stations also just been uploaded so if you've never got a chance to play it the first time around make sure you download it and try it out to see my review on the Expanded Galaxy mod, which is making its way over to the Legendary Edition, click the video that's on screen now. Thank you to Nerdy Dude and all of the supporters and you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Commander.